Hey you guys. Well, I got the drive shaft out of this Honda. Holy cow, what a job. Took me all day to get it this far. Here's the part that's broken. Yeah, this is supposed to be that shape and stuck down in there. Like this end. So I'd say it was going bad for a while. And I think you can just buy that part. But this dry shaft is all screwed up now, so I can't even use the dry shaft. I'm going to have to get a new one of them, too. i just been grinding on it so hard and so long. Well, yeah, it wasn't an easy job at all to take the deck off. And then, look at that, I had to take the six bolts out of the motor and slide that forward to get the space I needed to get the joints apart. Take the battery tray out and to, to get to the battery tray bolts I had to take all the screws out of the dash. Take the steering wheel off, pop that back a little bit. So it's just one thing after another. And either disconnecting all the wiring and hoses and take the motor out. There's a metal plate that runs underneath the dry shaft. I just cut it. I didn't even care. Yeah, there's a plate there about eight inches long that goes underneath that dry shaft, so I just cut it and I'll tack it back together with some weld if I have to, but I was not going to disconnect all that wiring and stuff. Run into more problems. So, alright guys, just wanted to let you know that's where we're at with the old Honda. I did straighten out the grill the best I could. She was pretty bashed in, but it came back almost straight. Jeez. So yeah, just fixing other people's stuff. So, Alright guys, hopefully we'll get this thing back together and running pretty soon. So, we'll talk to you later.